Does your browser bookmarks look like this? Oh my gosh, look across here. It's taking up so much space. Oh, the dreaded arrows. Ah, there's even more below it. It never ends. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn that into something more like this. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner, Education for Educators. This channel's all about helping teachers like you grow in your craft. If it's your first time watching, welcome aboard. If you like what you see today, please consider subscribing and sticking around for some more. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of time today to show you how to clean up and organize your browser bookmarks. We wanna make it functional and do it in a quick and efficient way. So without further ado, let's get to it. This first super quick and very easy strategy is gonna help you maximize that very limited real estate that you have on your bookmarks bar. Let's see what it's all about. So the first thing I wanna do is get rid of some unnecessary space by removing some of the words on these links at the top. When you look at some of these, you may automatically know what website it is. For example, I know that that symbol means Google Drive. I know that that symbol means Google Classroom. I know that that symbol means Yahoo. As I look across, there are several different ones that I know what they mean. I don't need the words to tell me what website I'm clicking on. So why not get rid of them and create some more space for yourself? All you do is hover over the link, right click, and go to edit. Once your edit bookmark pops up, right here's the name of it. All you have to do is delete it. It doesn't need a name. And when you hit save, now it's just the symbol by itself. The name next to it is gone. Let's do that again. Google Drive, right click, edit, get rid of the name, hit save, boom, here we go. Let me do a few more then show you one more quick trick. Okay, I've gone in and deleted the names of a few more websites that I know the icons of. I've done Yahoo, iStation, BrainPop, Flocabulary, and what I'm gonna do now is they're kind of spread out, so all we have to do is drag and drop. I'm gonna take him, scoot it over. I'm gonna grab my iStation, scoot it over. I'm gonna grab my Flocabulary, scoot it over. Now that I've done that, you'll notice that the dreaded arrows have already gone away. I've created enough space for myself to where I don't even need the drop down anymore. This way you can keep the icons of things you know on the left and ones you're not so sure about that you still need the words for, you can keep them out here on the spaces. And just because you don't know what it means doesn't mean you can't shrink it down. So for example, this may be MSN, Microsoft Network, but I don't need all this extra stuff here to the side. So I'll right click, go to edit, and I'm just gonna get rid of all this excess stuff except for MSN. And when I hit save, now it just says MSN without all the extra stuff. I've saved myself a little bit of space and I'm gonna scoot it over. This way you can start to shrink down the amount of space you're taking up on the bookmarks bar. This second part is all about folders, folders, and more folders, and we're even gonna be able to help you pull out some of your favorite Google Drive items and put them in there. Let's get to it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create some functional folders so you can start to categorize your bookmarks and not have to go looking all over the place in order to find what it is you're looking for. And it's really easy to do. All you have to do is right click in the blank space of the bookmarks bar and go down to add folder. We wanna give it a relevant name and since most of us are educators, I'm just gonna do some different subjects. So I'm gonna do this a few times. I've got math, right click, add folder. I've got science, right click, add folder. I've got language arts, right click, add folder, and I've got social studies. And now I've got four folders ready to go. I can drag and drop my websites that I wanna use. In order to keep this organized though, I'm gonna scoot them over just like I did with my bookmarks. I'm just gonna drag and drop, move them over. So from here, all we have to do is drag and drop into the appropriate folder. So for example, this Bill Nye is a science website. So I'm gonna grab, drag, and drop them into the science folder. And there he is. Imagine math, it's a math site. Grab, drag into the folder that you want. Let me go through and do the rest of these super quick. And now when I click in the folder, you can see that my bookmarks are organized and ready to go. I can drag and drop them to reorder. So if I want Prodigy at the bottom, I can move it there. If you really want, you can make a folder within a folder. You just right click on the folder and do add folder. And you'll see that it's located inside. So if I wanted to do specifically for history, 
just give it a name. And now when I click in the folder, you'll see that I have a history folder and I can move it to the top. From here, I can again drag and drop. Teachinghistory.org is a history website, so I can grab and drag it into the history folder. So now I've got a folder with a folder with sites on the inside of it. The next step is what do you do if you're on a website and you wanna save the actual website that you're on? You don't even have it on the bookmarks bar. All you do is go to the little lock button and you're going to grab, drag, and drop. Super simple. So now my education, National Geographic Society, is in this folder. One last thing I wanna show you is that this method works phenomenally with your Google Drive files. So I know us teachers out there, we're struggling to pull up the same files day after day after day, and you're going into Drive, finding the folder, pulling it up, just make bookmarks. But first, let's make a folder. Add folder, call it Drive Files. Now we've got a folder for Drive Files that I use a lot. Let's say that you're gonna be using this multiplication practice template for the next couple of weeks and you wanna be able to pull it up. You've got this file open. You just do the same drag and drop. Find the lock, grab it, drag it into your new drive file. There it is. Hey, before you go organize your bookmarks, watch some more videos, huh? Anyways, we'll see you next time at Mr. Cook's Corner. Bye.